Hey, it's Ryan Ray, and I'm going to be looking at a peculiar behavior of the drum kit designer. It's kind of a glitch or just something sort of strange, um, but I currently have open an empty session in Logic Pro 10, currently running version 10.3.2, which is the uh, latest version at the moment. I have an empty software instrument track set up, and what I'm going to do is go into the instrument plugin, select drum kit designer stereo. And when I open this up, it instantiates the plugin and we see that we get the factory defaults. Um, when I click on an individual drum component, like the kick or the snare, we get a couple of variations that we can choose from to customize the kit with the toms and cymbals. We get less editable options in the current setting in stereo mode. If I change the kit, if I go back in here and I select multi-output, we'll see that I still get the same options here, but as soon as I select a preset, we now have access to pretty much all the toms and kicks and snares and cymbals as well as more editable features over here. So we kind of get like the producer kit uh, options if you were to select from the library channel strip settings and choose a producer kit, one of the ones that's a preset with a plus sign next to it. Um, that looks like this. These ones with the plus signs. Those are the producer kits that give you very similar kinds of editable features, but I'm not going to select that right now. So this is still the multi-output kit. If I go and reselect stereo, I still have the kind of options that are presented in the multi-output. It doesn't quite click over until you choose a preset. So as soon as I select something from the stereo preset list, now I have a limited, a limited amount of editable features. So it's just something that's kind of strange in the way it behaves. I don't know if this is a glitch based on this current version or if it's just something in the way that it kind of operates until you make some edit, but you won't notice until you actually make a preset change and it can be kind of misleading or uh, a source of frustration and confusion because it's not behaving like you had selected. So uh, that's all. Hope that helps.